So Carmelo Anthony and LeBron James, they've gone head to head 46 times thus far throughout their illustrious NBA careers. That includes the playoffs, but their history, it predates the rivalry in the league because two years before the future Hall of Famers were selected in the top three in the fabled 2003 draft, they faced off in front of 11,000 fans as St. Vincent, St. Mary's took on Oak Hill Academy. The two combined for 70 points, but as big of a game as that was, it actually wasn't nationally televised. It wasn't until 10 months later that LeBron made his ESPN debut. That's where the 17-year-old phenom scored 31 points, had 13 rebounds, six assists to lead St. Vincent St. Mary's to a win over the top-ranked team in the nation. Yes, it was Mello's alma mater, Oak Hill. So fast forward with me. 20 years to the day yesterday, LeBron and Carmelo Anthony, they found themselves in a high school gym together, but not to play to watch their sons play. Bronny and Cayenne, as well as sophomore Bryce James, suit up for what they can only be, hope to be one of the first of many matchups to come. So let's go there now. You can see the two young men getting set to face each other. Here's what Mello had to say about the matchup. You know, they grew up together, man. So that's that's the next, you know, that next generation that's coming up. So for us to, you know, we met 21, 22 years ago, right, to the, to the day. And, for us to be here full circle and watching Bronny and what he's doing and what he's about to go on to and the Bryce coming right behind him and then Cayenne coming right behind that. So the legacy continues. It don't stop. So this is in the first quarter. Bronny gets the steal here, goes coast to coast, throws it down at the other end. The entire gym was impressed with that one. So let's go back to December 12, 2002, because what does this remind you of? Oh, yeah, LeBron James throwing it down. Now, December 12, 2022, Bronny with the slam. Like father, like son, 20 years apart. You can see LeBron loving it. Third, later in the third here, Bronny pushes the pace. Three on the way. It's good. Ooh, nice little play there. Scotty Pippen was on the sidelines, just loving that one. <laughs> there you are, legendary Oak Hill coach Steve Smith, and then Bronny once again. Ooh, acrobatic finish on that one. Let's take one more look at the fancy finish there. And then let's go ahead to the end of the third here. Off the miss three. Kyan Anthony tips the rebound to himself, lays it in, plus the foul. Nice little play from that young man. And then in the fourth quarter, Carmelo Anthony, you can see him there watching his son. Bronny on the way, throws down the alley-oop. It looks mighty familiar. Bronny finished with 12 points, six rebounds, three assists. Sierra Canyon gets the win. 62 to 51. There's LeBron and Carmelo Anthony with some love after the game. Here's LeBron James today. Listen, he's so unfazed and you know, he does nothing bothers him really at all. Uh, just a kid who, you know, loves playing the game of basketball, but you know, love being a big brother, love being a role model, you know, to his generation. And um, you know, it's pretty cool that he's able to experience some of the things that I was able to experience. You know. And, um, but at the end of the day, he's creating his own path and creating his own name and, and legacy. So uh, I love that more, more than anything. So Brian Windhorst, you were actually at that game 20 years ago. When you look at that game then and this game now, what stands out? It's completely different, Malika. I mean, there, we didn't have high school games on television. They didn't have IGs with millions of followers. <laughs> right. LeBron was mostly unknown to the to the U.S. Maybe they saw him in the cover of Sports Illustrated. In my view, he made tens of millions of dollars this night because he created these highlights. Th these highlights ran on SportsCenter for months. After seeing that game, it became a matter of the shoe companies we don't care what it takes. We're going to pay whatever it takes for him. So it was a huge moment for him just for the financially of his family and also to establish his name in, 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 uh, over the country. Bronny's name is very much established. So not comparable, but still pretty cool that we got to see that scene last night.